I have just started the live. I've begun the live. <laughs> um, hi, everyone. I'm Lauren Harei. It is nice to virtually see you. Welcome to my virtual concert. <laughs> thank you, Billboard, for having me, and thank you to everyone watching. Um, I appreciate your energy, especially during this time. I know that this is quite an interesting time to be alive, um, to say the least. So I commend you for spending your time with me, and thank you, and I'm gracious, grateful. Gracious, I will. Grateful for you spending your time with me right now. I just want to kind of begin with a collective breath. Just a little bit of a moment where we all just take a deep breath and take a second to connect with one another and to connect as a collective watching. Um, and just concentrate on breathing in and out. And we're going to breathe in health and wellness for ourselves, for our communities, for our families, for our cities, for our states, our countries, and the world as a whole. So if you'll join me, everyone with me in the room, we're just gonna take a deep breath. My mom is talking. <laughs> Mommy, por favor. <laughs> Ma, I'm doing a meditation, so you can just not talk for a moment. It's a beautiful house we've got. We're so grateful for my family. We're going to try that again. Reset. <laughs> okay, very human moment. Just really connect with your heart center and send out that health and love and wellness to everyone around you, to yourself, to your family. Okay. Por favor. Welcome to a Latinx household, everyone. <laughs> okay, um, so we're gonna get this concert started. I've got um, a few songs for you guys. For those of you who do know me already, I'm gonna be singing some songs that have come out recently. We're performing Invisible Chains first um, from the Birds of Prey soundtrack. So, I wait. <laughs> We improvise, you know what I mean? I apologize for that little moment, but I'm a human being. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna drink some water. So that's Invisible Chains. Just doing a little water dance. <laughs> All right, that was the one I was most nervous about. So now, mm -hmm. hopefully we lock back in and we're not as nervous anymore. <laughs> I've always noticed that when I'm most nervous and I anticipate things, that's when, so that's a note to the collective. When, you know, just calm your energy and then you can get to where you gotta go. <laughs> um, next up we've got Nada. Nada. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> See it on Domina, I'm going other. Can't keep up with your vibe. You're up and you're down, round and you're round, way back in that we don't mind. But then I'll be up on the red tower. Don't be sad to get it. I said, What the way I know I am, or what's here? I'm going up, I'm going up. Tu 
que sabía, con lo que había, no me vas a cambiar, vida mía. Yo te lo voy a hacer que se haga de día, yo te lo voy a hacer que se haga de día, sigue dándome nada, dándome nada. I can't keep up with your vibe Cause you're round and you're round, babe I cannot reach your mind Tell me about my world without it ¿Qué quieres hacer? No voy a volver Dándome nada Hey, sigue dándome nada Dándome nada So for those asking, my dad is playing the cajon, the, the cajon, the makeshift cajon, which is a tray that my mother happens to own. <laughs> dad right there. And then we have a beautiful guitar player. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Quarantining, keeping distance, masks on, gloves on, you know. <clears throat> but yes. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so nervous. Like, who thought that I would be nervous for a live? Because this is like one of those things where it's like I get on a stage and there's like however many people there is watching me, I'm just like, okay, I'm on stage, it's like a separation. But for some reason, the live is just so intimate. This is my, you know, I'm in my house, I'm in my family's house right now. So, <clears throat> excuse the little bit of nerves that are involved in the process. <clears throat> okay. Oh shit, um, I forgot about. Okay, so next up we've got, can you guess, can you guess what it is people, please? Let's have a, guess what, guess what, guess what? Guess what? I'm gonna try to read y'all's comments. Okay. Oh, I love you guys are seeing that picture. Okay, yes. Okay. <clears throat> We're back. I'm gonna sing Lento. Lento. <laughs> hey. So that's you guys got an exclusive. That's the first live performance of Lento for your ass. So <clears throat> You're welcome. <laughs> Anyways, I'm really excited about that song. Um, para todos mis fans aquí que hablan español, muchas gracias por el apoyo. Siempre han estado aquí por mí y yo, o sea, por, haciendo música en español es muy importante para mí, para ustedes y para unirnos y comunicarnos siempre, porque es parte de mí. O sea, tengo, obviamente nací en América y soy de Miami, pero Estoy muy cerca con mi familia y cerca a mis, a mi, ¿huh? a mis raíces. Sí, you got Papi in the back, making sure to help me out. <laughs> And that's the point. It's Spanglish, baby. That's what we do. This is the diaspora. We are, uh, I can never forget or leave out my roots in my story or in my full story, you know? Because um, that just would not, that would not pay my ancestors the justice they deserved. You know what I mean? So I'm grateful to be able to do songs in both languages and combining the languages and for you guys to absorb that and love that and receive that. So thank you for your support. It really means everything. Um, okay, let's see what else do I have for you. How long have I been doing this? I just kind of got through the songs. <laughs> I'm like, this is supposed to be like a whole entire live, I'm assuming. I've only been on for 15 minutes. Fast. Oh my gosh, I went too fast. I went too fast. We can't do it yet. I have a surprise for you guys, but we can't do it yet. I have to talk to you for a little bit, right? We should talk a little bit. Yeah, let's do comments. Let's do comments. You guys want um send me some questions. What do you want to know about me? What do you want to know? For those of you who do know me, hello and thank you for joining. But for those who don't know me and want to get to know me, feel free. The floor is open. Mm 
Did you learn expectations? We did. Uh, I completely we'll forgot about it. We'll see there. We... You're right. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> That's the one that we did. Yeah, that was the only other one we had up. Uh, um, Mm, we didn't practice it though. I'm we sorry guys. I, I I slept on expectations. I forgot to practice it. I apologize. Um <laughs> um all right. So I have dropped a few songs this year, as I'm sure you guys know, and if you don't know get on that because you just got a little snippet and i think they're pretty cool so i would love if you did too just check it out check it out see the light um there was a point to that <laughs> but i have some new music in the works and that i've been marinating on and making sure they're good and perfect and i have another song coming for you guys very soon <clears throat> sooner than you think which i love saying but <clears throat> yeah i'm very excited for it that so I'm going to sing that song for you and this is gonna be a half hour live where I talk for the rest of the time so you ready tray player <laughs> he's literally playing a tray like a tray um thank god it's made out of wood makeshift at home that's how you know we're resourceful musicians you know what I mean you can use a steering wheel or a box or a tray it's the next level musicianship if you ever wonder where I get it from. Um, all right. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Oh, look, some questions. Okay. This is just like a couple. Okay, so. Some questions, my mom handed me Twitter. <laughs> um, I love this like collective live that we got going on. And like my dad jumped in literally like two seconds before I went live. And just because he lit he cannot not play along to songs. So he was just casually playing along to songs. And yeah, mom, the light is over here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, so he was just, he just jumped in and I was like, yep, percussion, let's do it, let's use it. And so he, here he is. Anyways, so some weeks ago you told us about having your first class after seven years. Do you continue taking these classes? Or was it short-lived? I am still taking these classes. I'm still in the process of taking these classes. Unfortunately, I have a lot going on, so it's hard for me to like stay consistent with stuff, but I'm learning and I have the tools and the education and I have time now. So here we are. Um, can you describe or say the name of your favorite song from the album that we don't know anything about yet? Well, you actually happen to know some stuff about this. There's some I'm circulation. Not sure I understand. Siri, nobody asked you. <laughs> no one asked you to understand. Um, there's the song is circulating in the world. It's called It's called Always Love, and I really um, it's my favorite song that I've written so far. In my process of unveiling my artistry. Very dramatic. Um, I think maybe maybe like I'll take like two more questions. Two more questions. Two more questions. Um. So you were on Billboard's Pop Shop podcast recently. Shout out Billboard again. Thank you very much for the support, Billboard. I love you guys very 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 much. Um. It said you've been writing a lot recently. Has there been has it been a good escape? for you from everything that's going on in the world right now? And would you consider writing almost like a coping mechanism? Yes, and yes, and yes, and yes, all of the yes. Um, writing is incredibly important to me as a being to function, <laughs> um, getting things out of me, getting, like to, even today I was writing and not necessarily writing songs or poetry, but just writing about the state of the world and the state of the times. I just, I've always been very observational and very, um, very aware of what's going on so I, I have a lot of thoughts on them and so writing them down makes me a little less crazy um and then songs of course manifesting concepts for songs i've written a couple songs that i think are going further and further into the depths of what i'm capable of writing about so i feel like in the process of finding myself in the creation that's been coming up i've kind of just 
delved through layers of Lauren and going deeper and deeper and deeper. And I feel like this, the whole, um, are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Can you just, let's, let's turn the phone off. My goodness. It's all live. At least you know it's real, man. At least you know it's real. I'm just out here having a whole existential conversation interrupted by a face. Can you turn my phone off on me? Thank you. Um, anyways, <laughs> I feel like this whole entire time right now, this, this moment in history is definitely causing some deep contemplation and, and making me go inward in a way that I, I don't know if it was even possible yet. Um, so anyways, I'm going to do one more song for you guys, and that's going to be a wrap for me. So let's get to it. Let's hop to it. There's a new song. It's called 50 Feet. And it's coming soon. So I hope you like it. Of space. I need to protect my energy. Asking for energy from my ancestors to protect us during this time, during this very worldly moment, this very human moment that we have. I think it is incredibly relevant to the soul. And I have a lot more where that came from. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me sing for you. I hope that I was able to bring some joy to your at home moment, hopefully at home moment. Please guys, um, genuinely stay safe and protective of yourselves. Keep your immunity up, um, ask your doctor, but there's a lot of really beautiful ways that nature provides us immunity help. Um, and just, you know, preventative measures just to make sure that you're at full capacity to be able to fight off or prevent yourself from even getting sick in the first place, I think is really important. And to all of my, to everyone who is going through this and does not have a home to be quarantined in um, or is going through it and has lost their job or whatever capacity at which everyone is suffering, I, I send you so much love and I send you so much healing and hopefully you know i was able to contribute to we're, we're we together collectively are able to contribute today to downtown women's center in los angeles but i just want to make sure i'm also reaching out to places in my own community reach out to your local organizers reach out to your local grassroots organizations and see how you can be of assistance even if it's money whether it's a donation or volunteering of your time whether you have ex extra resources that you are capable of giving to other people Whatever capacity that you can show up for your community and for each other and for the world right now, please do um, and stay safe doing it. I love you all very much. I'm sending you so much love and healing and health to you and your families. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I will hopefully see you soon. I'm gonna be doing more lives also on my own um, page on Instagram, um, getting into like a whole kind of rewiring of the way that I approach my, our, our connection, you know, especially during a time like this, I want to be more vocal and more present with the healing side of what I do as well, because art for me is a medium through which I can help heal. Um, but primarily I feel like my calling is to be a healer. Um, and so I have a lot of different resources for that. And I'm, I'm, thank God there are so many beautiful people on this planet and in this country who are doing the real life work that is necessary to, you know, shift our perspective, to assist us in this shift of paradigm and to really um, set the stage and set the standard for the new ways of how we can collectively come together as a community, as a collective, because yes, you know, nationalism and individual states exist, but I really think it's important. It's, in, it's the most important time for us to realize that we are one. We are all connected in the essence of this virus can, can this virus knows no boundaries and no labels that we've created here on earth and all of these human tendencies, you know? So just remember that when you're interacting with each other and when you're thinking of ways to move forward, that the only way we can do this is together. Um, so yes, I will be posting more stuff on my own page, lives, Lauren Hodegi, my name. Um, so you'll be able to have access to that content as well. And yeah, 
I'm going to keep releasing music because that's what I do. I write music. <laughs> and hopefully you guys stay tuned in, stay connected. Um, please send me in any suggestions you have as well, things that you would like to see from me or hear from me. Um, I'm always open to any kinds of ways that I can connect with you guys. So shout out to Billboard again. Thank you for having me. I love you guys. You're such a beautiful platform. Um, and thank you for always supporting me through thick and thin. <laughs> I appreciate you very much. Mwah! Have a beautiful day, or rest of your day, wherever you are.